Hey guys, welcome back to the business of art. Today I wanted to talk to you about where the best place to sell your art is. I have seen in a few different um, groups on Facebook, people that tried out um, maybe like an art fair or a craft fair and then they're disappointed because they didn't sell anything. But I've also seen a lot of posts from people who did sell a lot at those. Um, and it's, it's not an easy topic finding the best place to sell your art or the best market for your art. It is not an easy topic, but I'm going to just share what I've learned so far because I've kind of sold art everywhere and anywhere. Online, you can sell any price range. Okay. So that's on an Etsy store, on your website, any price range. It doesn't matter, you know, cheapest to most, to millions of dollars, any art range. There's no restrictions on that. Etsy on the whole tends to lean towards the more low to middle range. You don't generally see a, a lot of stuff on Etsy that's like thousands and thousands of dollars. It's definitely on there and people definitely sell on there in those amounts. So I don't want to say don't do that. I'm just saying in general, if you look at what is mostly sold on there, it's going to be in the low to middle ranges. So maybe, you know, starting from like zero dollars up to a few hundred dollars is what's mostly being sold on Etsy um, and a lot of other similar sites to that. Now, if you go to a gallery, you're not going to see things for $20, right? In an art gallery, it's got the middle to the high range. So think with that, if you're going to considering approaching an art gallery, you don't want to approach them with artwork that should be sold for $50 or $30. You know what I mean? Um, like you need to think with that. You, you would want to be using the best materials, the best canvases. You know, you generally want the gallery wrap ones or um, it, it just depends on your what kind of art you're producing. But think with that. It is in the middle to the higher range. It's not in the lower range. Okay, now when you have a, a, an art and a craft fair, those are going to vary a bit, but those are generally also in the low to middle range. I have personally found that for art and craft fairs, the smaller things sell the best. That's just the, like, I haven't sold a lot of paintings that were hundreds of dollars. Now, I definitely have, but I've sold a ton of necklaces, coasters, vases, magnets, Anything like that that are just like kind of little things that someone could shell out 10, 15, 20 bucks for. I have found that at art and craft fairs, those are what sells the most. So I generally don't even put those things up on my Etsy store to sell. The littler things, I actually wait until art and craft fairs to sell those things because they sell so well. Christmas ornaments, stuff like that because they sell so well in person at an art and craft fair. Um... And also same thing with larger paintings. I found that those also tend to sell better in person. So I put some of them up on my Etsy store, but otherwise I don't. I, I like to sell those in person also because I don't want to ship them. <laughs> That's just me. I don't want to ship a huge painting. It's, it's way too much. I want someone to show up, look at the painting, go, I like that and take it home with them. <laughs> okay. Once I get into shipping, into selling things for like tens of thousands of dollars, well, then I can pay people to package and ship those paintings. But until then, same thing with those smaller items too. I don't want to ship vases. It's not really worth it to me. Um, all right, so we've covered online, craft fairs, and galleries. And those are kind of the three main places that you're going to sell things. Um, one thing I recommend doing too is probably your biggest fans are your friends and family in general, okay? And that can also be a good test to if you're ready for an art and craft fair. So I would set something up at your own home, just a little get together, especially around the holidays is a great time, or at a friend's house. If you don't have the space, find a friend that has a house that's willing to let you have a few people over. Set up your art, set up, um, you know, the littler things if you have them, vases or whatever. Set that all up and invite all your friends and family, like your closer ones, not like the whole world, don't invite thousands of people, but you know, invite 30 or 40 people, you'll maybe get 20 people there, and see how things sell, see what people are the most interested in, and if 
if it even goes anywhere. If people don't seem interested in any of them, you might not be ready for an art fair or a craft fair. Okay? So and that's, that's a hard truth. You may need to work a little bit more and get get your things a little more perfected or or just change them a little bit. Maybe embellish a little more or, you know what I mean? It can be just a really good test. So I hope that is helpful to you guys in terms of where you might be selling your art. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'll see you guys next time.